Welcome to Catchy Cartoons. Today we'll be learning to draw a jack-o'-lantern in the second of three videos that I've created especially for Halloween. I think you'll find this one easy and fun, so let's get drawing. As always, we're going to start the process off with the rough drawing. This will form the foundation of our final drawing. We'll just sketch in the shape of our pumpkin. Let's make it a bit wider at the bottom to give it some weight. If you've ever picked up a pumpkin, you know how heavy they can be. And let's make it fairly flat along the bottom so it sits nicely on the floor. A center line for its bias and to indicate the form. We'll draw a little triangle for the nose. Two more triangles angled inwards for the eyes. Let's make one a bit bigger to push the expression. And a big smile that takes up the lower half of the face. Two big scary fangs and three pointed teeth along the bottom. This makes a total of five teeth, not four, not six, or any other even number. Always try to incorporate odd numbers where you can into your drawings. Now obviously we don't want to be silly and have people with three ears or dogs with nine legs, but just where it makes sense, as it makes the image that much more interesting. And we'll finish the rough by knocking in the stem and move on to the tie-down stage. Here we'll start to bring our jack-o'-lantern to life as we carve out, <laughs> pun definitely intended, our shapes and forms. Since we're still searching for our shapes, we should be working fairly loose. Let's round off the bottom of the pumpkin as we shave off some bulk. We'll adjust the shape of the eyes a touch by adding some curves to play off the straight lines at the bottom of the eyes. This creates a nice contrasting shape, which I've talked about in my B is for Bear video, which you should definitely watch, by the way, for other tips and tricks to help you with your drawing. Touch up the nose. I'm liking his mouth, but we'll just add a subtle curl to the upper lip. We'll make this fang a touch longer and make sure the teeth are nice and pointy. Now we'll add in some dimension to the drawing as we show the inside of the pumpkin. We're going to cheat the perspective and thickness of the pumpkin to create the irises. Normally you wouldn't see the top and the bottom of the inside of the screen eye, but just a little bit of artistic license here, just a little trick. As I finish off the mouth, can anybody guess what shape the mouth will end up looking like? Leave your guess in the comment section below. And no cheating. The stem is a bit boring, so we'll adjust the top by making it thicker and adjust the angle at the end. And now we'll just add a cut across the top. <laughs> Doesn't it look like our jack-o'-lantern is wearing a witch's hat? Which is perfectly fine for Halloween. Now that our jack-o'-lantern is taking shape, the second tie-down stage will consist of applying a darker line as we commit to our shapes and forms. And we'll also be adding a little bit of detail. We'll make sure that the shape of our pumpkin is just right. The eyes need to be clearly defined. And again, those teeth should be nice and pointy. Go carefully through the inside of the eyes. We don't want to lose any of the expression. If you remember from my spooky ghost video, we talked about how easy it can be to lose an expression. We'll commit to the stem and the cut line and we'll start adding the finishing details. Start the ribs at the stem and we'll work our way down, curving the line as we follow the contour of the pumpkin. Sketch in a couple of lines through the stem. They don't really serve any structural purpose. They're just more of a design element. Let's add some tone to give the drawing a sense of finish and move on to the cleanup stage where we'll apply our clean and final line. We're going to use a fairly thick and bold line to give our jack-o'-lantern a graphic feel. The line should be heavier at the bottom as this makes it seem weighty. I'm going to clean up over the rough drawing to make the shape a bit more interesting. As usual, the interior lines should be thinner than the exterior lines. 
We'll round off the eyes and nose a touch. But make sure to keep those teeth pointy. The outside lines of the teeth should be thicker than the side that is indicating dimension. Now, as you've probably noticed, I've made an adjustment to the mouth shape and some subtle curves. This has changed the expression quite dramatically. Any guesses yet as to what you think this looks like? Why don't you leave me a comment? We'll lay down a thickish line inside the eyes to indicate the irises, and we'll apply a thin line for the inside of the nose and the mouth. I've applied a mid-sized line for the ribs, but I think the line could be just a bit thinner. For the stem, we'll apply a thick line for the verticals and a thin line for the horizontals. Another mid-sized line for the cut, and we'll lay down the thin lines inside the stem to finish the cleanup stage. And now for some colour. I'm assuming we're going to go for orange, but of course that's completely up to you. But I think I'll stick with a nice orange for the pumpkin, a lighter orange for the inner flesh, a green stem, and to avoid the potential hole in the image that black can cause, we'll use a dark green for the inside of the pumpkin. And what do you know? One spooky jack-o'-lantern. I told you this one would be easy and fun. Oh, and by the way, did anyone guess that the mouth looks a bit like a flying bat? Just perfect for Halloween. And for those of you who want to keep drawing, I've got three more jack-o'-lanterns for you, as you can see in the sidebar. Just remember to follow the process. Start your drawing with a rough, then tie it down, apply your clean-up line, and finish them off with some colour. Easy! Now you can feel free to create your very own series of jack-o'-lanterns with all sorts of silly or scary expressions. For those of you who had fun drawing these jack-o'-lanterns, please click on the like button, hit subscribe if you would like to see more Halloween videos, as well as my other catchy cartoon videos. Ring the bell to be notified of my next video, and please share this video with friends and family, and do leave a comment. I would love to see your jack-o'-lantern drawing, so please send me one. You never know, it might just appear in a future Catchy Cartoons video. Thanks for watching, and Happy Halloween!